morning, ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, it is a nice, balmy 24 degrees Fahrenheit with winds about 10 miles an hour out of the north. Uh, nice white frost all over everything. Sorry, enough of being the uh, weatherman. Uh, I get asked a lot what we do with some of the cars that we get in. Uh, we donate some of them uh, for use to training purposes to the local fire departments and police departments. Uh, this morning I'm leaving a little bit earlier than I normally would to go down to a uh, shooting range to pick up some cars that we had donated to uh, law enforcement uh, for training purposes and uh, pick them up and bring them back and we'll go from there on what to do with them but uh, I also get asked a lot why don't you ever use the uh, underreach or do you ever use the underreach wheel lift on the rollbacks uh, the answer is yes we haul two cars two vehicles quite frequently. We just don't show it a lot. Uh, they're designed to be able to haul one on the deck and one behind on the uh, underreach slash wheel lift. Uh, we have such a case today, so we'll show that. And uh, anyway, we'll see you when we get there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the shooting range. We've already picked up oh, one of the cars yesterday. They were actually having some training down here yesterday, so I didn't, uh, didn't do any filming. For anonymity purposes, I didn't want to, uh, it was part of the SWAT team. Uh, well, they call it CERT around here, but Anyway, I didn't do any videotaping while I was here yesterday. We'll tape today. Nobody's here. It's just us and the cars and the spent brass. Here we go. Yeah, I guess I'll show you how to how we use the remote. This is a uh, full function. I'm sorry, a three function remote. It does the bed backwards and forwards, up and down, and it also does the uh, winch in and out. Which our other rollbacks that we've had, we added the winch in and out. which is very invaluable for doing recovery work and makes life a lot easier. But I'm really enjoying this uh, three function remote as well. It's allowing me to uh, operate the bed before I get out of the truck, especially out on the interstate. As you can see, they've put a few bullet holes in here. I don't know the full extent of their training, but I know part of it was uh, learning how to uh, shoot through glass and the different trajectories that the bullets make when they uh, 
penetrate glass. I know the new truck's a little dirty. Today is the first dry day that we have had in over a week. This last weekend we had uh, we had a heavy, heavy snow and ice storm and with really really cold temperatures and then uh, let's see Monday I think it was Monday or Tuesday it warmed up started raining melted off all the ice and snow and just continued to rain so therefore the dirty truck And a few scratches on the bed. Yep, it's a work truck. We're gonna take care of it, but it is a work truck. my full four point tie down.
Now on to the next. Okay, now this one, I've got to either have room enough to get in front of it, or I've got to uh, pull it backwards enough to get in front of it, whichever the case may be, because front tire's flat and it's a front wheel drive car, so. Tie the hood and the trunk shut, but so be it. Drag it backwards. So. Yes, I could have used the wheel lift and hooked up to it, but for no more than what I was going to do, really didn't see much point. Just my opinion, everybody's got different methods. As I always tell people in my analogy, there's a lot of different ways to get to 10. Two plus eight equals 10. Five plus five equals 10. Two times five equals 10. Long as everybody gets to 10 and it's done safely, who's to say which way is right or wrong? Cause you all end up with the same results as long as nobody's hurt. That's why I get so upset over people criticizing other people's jobs or people wanting me to criticize other people's jobs. That's not my place. Or I don't think it is. I do my thing my way. Others do their things their way and as long as they're done safely. I'm not gonna criticize. They may not do it the way I would do it, but likewise, I may not do it the same way they would do it. Okay, now the remote does not work on the underreach slash wheel lift. You have to use the manual controls on it. <laughs> 
but it's okay. Straighten the wheels. I'll go ahead before I uh, back up to it. Yep, wrong door. Tie the hood in the trunk. I know that's got to be done anyway. Keeps the hood fly up from flying up in transit. Some of the newer cars have got child seat tie downs. That, there's a lot of spent brass here. need this remote anymore since I'm not using the bed might as well take it off there's some of their targets there's some swinging targets some tree targets
Santos locked in. You can tell they're locked. These are a uh, 90 degree turn. Whenever you twist them, it pulls the lock pin out. Whenever you twist them back, it locks into the corresponding holes. And again, there's a lot of different ways to do this. I see some people that uh, take a J hook, don't use the wheel sling or the the wheel arms. And they'll take a J hook and grab a hold of the suspension or undercarriage somehow, and that's all they use. I know that's how a lot of people are taught. I personally don't like that method, but I want everything as secure as possible. All right. Just like on a big truck, you put your tight in. Or your breakaways, I'm sorry, breakaway chains in. And just like on the heavy trucks, you put it so that the chain is pulling into the throat of the hook. take the little uh, bungee cord that they have and give yourself some slack just like that so that you've got enough room for the turns This one will be a little bit better to show you the lasso strap tie down because of the, the tire being fully inflated. On the other side, the tire was flat, so it doesn't work quite as well. Again, the chain pulling into the throat of the hook. Give yourself some slack. With the little bungee cord. Now, 
What's left, gentlemen and ladies and boys and girls? What else do we need when we're towing? A light bar. It's a wireless magnetic tow light bar. I know it's got magnets on it, but I really don't want to lose it. You can see the uh, frost on everything. It's in the cradles, wheel straps, safety chains, light bar. This one's loaded, got the four point tie down on it. Release tension on the winch. And we're set. Ladies and gentlemen, you've asked to see two cars being transported. There we go. We'll take them back to the shop, get them ready for disposal, and go from there. As always, thank you for watching, and God bless.